need to understand how the horse perceives the rider. Horses are not designed in nature to carry riders. Horses have evolved from herd animals, so to ask them to carry the weight of a rider for several hours requires them to have a good strong muscle structure in the right place to help them move efficiently and do the task we ask of them. We need to build muscle on our horses and to do that we need to be sure that the weight we are asking them to carry is distributed evenly and with no blockages of the main muscles working. In the classical way we tend to use the training pyramids for the horse and the rider. The first pyramid we'd like to consider is the training pyramid for the rider. The first criteria for the rider is to work on the position. The second line of the pyramid is that the rider should have good feel so that they can recognise which muscles is moving and what is working where and what is being blocked. It takes an awful lot for the rider to get to this section and to understand feel. The third tier is the knowledge and understanding. How does it all work and why? This is all the technical information about the muscles, the structure of the horse, etc. The second pyramid of training is for the horse and we use a pyramid that says free forward movement, rhythm, outline, bend, balance, impulsion, transitions and temperament. And if the temperament is a bad day and a bad morning then go right back to the bottom of the pyramid again and just concentrate on free and forward. To remember this I call it throb it. People mistake free and forward movement to be speed. It is not. Free and forward means what it says. The horse must be nice and relaxed, working very quietly and softly, going forward willingly without tension and without tightness and to be able to keep a good rhythm. Rhythm is a distinct cadence that you have to get from the horse. So in walk it's a four time beat. One, two, three, four. In trot, it's a two-time beat, the one, two, and the swing. In canter, it's a three-time beat. And you've got to recognize and feel that through your body and through the horse. The third level of the pyramid is outline. People are often surprised that outline is so low down in the training pyramid. But one has to imagine a toothpaste tube that you're squeezing. If you haven't got the cap on the end of it, your energy is dispersed in all directions without any focus. So the contact on the front of the horse has to be consistent and subtle and correct so that the energy matches from the back to the front just right. There's a great deal of confusion about bend with riders. They tend to pull the rein and say that they have bent the horse. In fact, they have only bent the horse through the neck. A true bend has to go from the pole all the way through the line of the horse to the croup. To do that, you need to control the rib cage rather than just the front and the back of the horse. Balance encompasses a whole myriad of issues. The balance of the horse, the balance of the rider, both have to be in harmony. So we do lots of exercises on balancing the horse or the poles or the terrain or the different ground, but we cannot do any of that unless they're also the rider is balanced too. Impulsion is greatly misunderstood by riders. When you ask for impulsion, they tend to kick and go faster. It is not about speed, it is about energy stored and able to be released on command. Horses use impulsion correctly when you see them in extended trot, extended canter, passage, piaf. What many riders find is that transitions is the most difficult thing to achieve. Start your transition work very simply, just from go to walk and walk to stop. But as you go more advanced through the pyramid, the transitions can become as complicated as you want. But it is one of the most difficult things to achieve in balance, with bend, with impulsion, in an outline, and all the lower pyramid criteria fulfilled. Temperament is the breaker or the maker of every horse that we ride. If you are on a full stallion in full throttle, then forget about doing anything very quiet or subtle, just stick to doing free forward work. You have to judge the temperament of your horse for yourself at the moment you sit on it.